Hey folks, Shuli here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create task templates for your client projects. So if you've been using the task management feature and you're creating these detailed task lists for each of your client projects and you're having to build those out from scratch, keep watching. I'm gonna show you how to create task templates so that you can create them once and then just duplicate them for all future projects. And it'll really help speed up your process. So let's jump in and I'll show you exactly how this works. We're going to click into tasks at the top of the design files uh, navigation up here. Click into that. That's going to bring us to the main task view where we can see all the individual tasks that we've created for each client project. And of course, I can add a new task at any time. But if I want to create a template that I can use over and over again, I'm going to click this button right here. It's when I open it up, it's going to show me this list here. And this is just some of the templates that I've already created. But down at the bottom, you'll see this link to manage templates. So if you want to create a new one or if you want to edit any of your, the templates that you've created, click that. Now that's going to bring me to this view here. I can see all the templates that I've already created and I can add a new one at any time. And you could approach this in a few different ways. So you could create a template for an individual task. Um, you could choose to break your project down by phases if you want, like I've done here. And then you could create a task template list for your entire onboarding process, for your design phase process. Or if you've got a really standard process, you could just create a template for the entire project task list. And that way you could just duplicate that into all future projects. So it's completely up to you. If you do decide to create the full project list, or if you decide to break it down by phases, I'm just going to open up this one right here so you can see what that will look like. We'll just edit this task here. You can see that this is my onboarding task list template. And below that, you can see that I've added in all these individual tasks that I need to complete for the onboarding process. I can always add a new task if I want by clicking this link or by clicking the button up here in the right hand corner. And I can also click into any of the individual tasks if I want to add any additional notes or assign it to a specific team member. Now, if this was a case where there's, it's going to be the same team member that's always going to be scheduling the in-home meetings, then you can absolutely assign it here. But if this is going to change by project by project, then just leave this blank. And then after you've added this task list to a project, then you can assign the appropriate team member. You can also add your priorities. You can add notes and you can add attachments. And when you're ready, just close out. Now, if you've added in all your individual tasks for this particular template, you can just save your template. And when you have all your templates ready, you can go into any project and then you can start adding those directly to the project. So you don't have to build out your task list from scratch anymore. So let's say I was taking on a brand new client. We'll just create a sample project here. Okay, let's create that. Let's say this is a brand new project I'm taking on with a client. And one of the first things that I want to do is just add in my complete task list of all the things that I need to take care of for this project. So I'm going to go into the task option for this specific project right here. And again, I could add a task if I want to, but let's go ahead and use those templates to speed this up. So we'll click here to use a template. Here's all the ones that I've created. I can click directly on my onboarding task list, and that's just automatically going to add this entire task template to this project. And then I can go ahead and I can start adding in any additional um, templates that I've already created for the design phase, for the install phase, for whatever I want to add. So it just really speeds up the overall process. And again, once you've added in these tasks to the project, you can click into any of the individual ones. You can assign your team members. You can select your due dates for when you want this to happen, set your priority, leave notes, add attachments, get all those details added in there. And when you're ready, just close it out and you'll see it all show directly in your task list. So there you have it. Go ahead, jump into your design files account, give this feature a try. It is dramatically going to speed up the process. It's going to make getting your task list ready for all future projects so much easier. And if you are using something like Asana or ClickUp or Trello, and you kind of have your task management uh, list separate from all your other uh, tasks that you do for your design business, you could get rid of that and you can bring it all into design files. So you have all the information you need in one program and that will make it easier for you and your team to just stay informed and stay on track to meet those deadlines for your projects. If you do have any questions at all, always reach out to us on the live chat. We are happy to help. Thanks so much for watching.